after the democratic protest in 2011, you had to leave uh, your country for safety reasons. And yet you are living in Europe and working a lot to, um, to talk about what's happening in Bahrain and, and to give voice to the people still there. Um, how would you describe your life as an activist, a human rights activist in exile? Well, I think um, the best way to describe it is as a jet setter. You know, uh, I spend most of my time traveling around the world, mostly in Europe and the U.S., um, speaking about the situation not just in Bahrain but in several countries in the Middle East, um, and doing meetings, basically meeting with governments, meeting with different institutions, and doing public speeches about the human rights situation. Okay, and um, a question about the U.S. and Bahrain. So you've been very critical about the US alliance. Um, between the Bahrain and the Bikino of Bahrain and the US. And we saw that recently, just a few days ago, um, a new agreement, a trade uh, agreement on arms was signed for billions. So how do you think now this Trump administration is going to affect the human rights climate uh, in Bahrain? Well, I think that generally the situation is going to get much worse. This arms deal was not actually new. It was something that was brought under the Obama administration. Uh, what the Trump administration did is they removed the human rights conditionalities on it. Uh, and so now it's gone through without any human rights conditions. Um, and I think that that's generally what we're expecting for the next four years, not just from the United States, but also from the United Kingdom, that things are going to get much worse in regards to the issue of human rights in all of the Gulf, not just in Bahrain. Your family as a whole has been fighting for human rights in Bahrain. And I was wondering, what is um, the example that you got from, from your parents? Well, both my parents are activists and they've both had to pay a very heavy price for their activism. I know my father is currently serving a life sentence in Bahrain after having been severely tortured. And so I think that, uh, you know, I learned a lot from my father on how to be a human rights defender. But I learned mostly from my mother on how to be strong and how to persist and how to persevere.